because I need to sell everything I have. Get whatever money I can for all this stuff. Oh man, I have a lot of goods. Alright, does anyone else have money? Because I have so many goods. Uh, oh jeez. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna buy this immediately, like, out the gate. This, uh... Oh, actually? Yeah, wait short it's a short sword but it's pretty oh the stats are pretty cool though it's very fast I kind of dig it I think we're gonna go for it we're just gonna get this sword right out the gate it's a big upgrade on my sword other than like the minus 11 weapon reach but I can cope I, I do have a crossbow so yeah, I'm just gonna pay a thousand bucks, and you might as well just sweeten the deal a little bit. Only seven hundred bucks. We could have him throw in this shield, or no, we, we're gonna need the money to save him to, yeah, to pay our men and stuff. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, that's a good deal. Alright, we've defeated the robbers. We know the location of the kidnapper's hideout. I think it's time to uh, foil some kidnapping plans. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's so many bandits. Please stop. Wait, have I leveled up? I did, okay. Now the problem is I am Eugene Krabs. That's me. I would love to upgrade my um, my other stuff, but trade comes first. So, oh, okay. Luckily, I don't have to upgrade it, but I, to save money, I am going to actually upgrade leadership. Yeah, because it's going to reduce the wages, and I hate paying people. And then we're going to do crossbows. And then, you know, we're just going to... I'm not at a lot of health. But also, these bandits are closing in. I really have no choice. I'm just going to have to go and attack. And kind of let my men do the work for me. You know, I'll hang back. Actually, you guys follow me right now? Can I give me some cover? Just in case I get ambushed. I'm pretty sure these desert bandit camps though are very straightforward. Like there's a guy over there. There's gonna be some guys right here. So I just move in a little bit. Like to here, that'd be cool. Then he'll start moving in. No problem. One down. Easy. Eugene Krabs could not be daunted. Oh, shit. Look, I got ambushed. Alright, everyone charged. I lied. Look, I'll take care of this guy for you. Boom. I'm so... Oh, that rock almost hit me. That could have been the end. That could have been the end of the adventure. Right there. Oh. Alright. Snipe. Snipe. Take two. Oh, okay, they moved. That is the problem with these medieval snipings. Uh, the crossbow bolt takes so long to get there that they can run a, they can run a whole marathon before the time uh, your shot even makes it there. 
So it looks like we won. Uh, and by we, I mean my men won, and I kind of just sat around and did nothing. The merchant's brother ran at me way too fast. Do you guys, have you guys seen the movie Get Out? That's what that reminded me of. I, I wanted to scream, but I was so shocked that I just didn't scream. Okay. Um, yeah, your brother did put me onto your track. Uh, and then I let him return to his family on his own, which makes no sense given the amount of bandits there are around here, but we're going to go with it. Um, my sword is pretty cool, so I really don't need to worry about upgrading my melee weapon anytime soon, but there is some sick armor here, which I think I'm going to let um, Rolf take the first swing at. So now there should be just some basic stuff. I'll go ahead and take like the top nine things just to sell. I'll leave the rest. But now Rolf should be looking kind of cool. Look. Oh my god, Rolf. Look at that cool hat he has now. That's right. You stick with me, Rolf, and you're going to be looking pretty good. You're going to be looking dapper, my guy. Okay. Serenid Veteran Footman. We're getting some more of those. I'm going to make some, some archers and stuff soon. But I think we need a nice like infantry corps uh, to handle all these guys. In fact, before they ambush me, which I know they're going to do. I'm just going to get some extra troops. Oh my god. Oh my god. There, why is there so many? Oh, you know what? It's because not only does this mod, I think, like spawn more naturally just to make the game more fun, I also have the campaign AI set to good, so like the party sizes are ridiculous for like the low level I'm at right now. What's Rolf good at again? Cause we need like, we need to diversify our skills a little bit. He's really good at nothing helpful to me. He's more of a warrior type companion. That's fine. I'm good with that actually. I need a like trusty sword by my side. In fact, I'm gonna put Rolf into a group I like to call the boys. And the boys group is actually just gonna be a group of people that are my bodyguards. But I'm not gonna tell them that. I'm gonna be like, yeah, you're like my entourage, you're like the boys, you know, it's whatever. But then in reality, they're a meat shield. Uh, to keep me from getting killed so I don't have to use that terrible death cam again. Listen, buddy, uh, we got your brother. It was kind of a hassle. I'd appreciate a little, you know, compensation. Thank you. <laughs> Am I interested in making more? Possibly. Blah, blah, blah. Basically... The guards in the town, if you don't know, are a little corrupt. They're letting bandits roam the streets for some reason, and nobody else notices this. And then they're like, hey, you know what? Uh, we want you to take these bandits out with, uh, with the people that are resisting them. And I'm like, sure, I'll lead your men. And then they're like, yeah, blah, 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 blah. This whole quest makes no sense to me at all. But basically, look. That guy's a bandit. He literally, literally says looter. And then this guy comes up and he's like, It's time, lads! Up and at them! And then everyone starts freaking out. He gets murdered immediately, too. Like, every time. 
Oh my god, I died. I don't think I've ever died during that quest. Oh man, that sucks. I still got money for it though. Okay, I'm glad the rest of you were able to beat them. <laughs> Even though both me and you got murdered. Eleven people. Ooh. Um, Mr. Krabs, how would he respond to this? Um, right, I should be more careful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, game, I know I can leave by pressing tab. I kind of just wanted to check out this guy's crib, and I'm not disappointed. However, I gotta say, it looks kind of like the tavern, just with different furniture. Do you guys want to see what I'm talking about? Do you see what I'm saying? And then, this room, right? Yeah. Do you just live in an old tavern? Do you? Alright. Um, Dashabi. I'll see you later. I think we need to heal up. And by heal up, I, I mean like, just me. My men are fine. Luckily, I have enough stuff or I'm pretty sure I can just chill here for a while uh, with all the money I'll get from selling it so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna wait here until we're all healed alright so we're all healed and I think the next order of business is to kinda test where I'm at combatively because I'm not used to playing on these difficulty settings where the damage to me is normal that's kinda sus so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and enter this arena actually let's wait till midday because I don't like where the sun's at in the early morning it looks like nighttime to be honest so we're gonna enter this arena we're gonna see these two dudes fighting and then we're going to talk to the tournament master and be like, hey, um, can I join? And I'm going to be like, yeah, that's what I want to do. Because I want to see how good I am on like the normal settings. That guy, taken down, piece of cake. Because usually by like level 5, I have no problem clearing out this whole arena by myself. It's, it's really not a challenge. And I can do tournaments too, like out the gate. It's not hard in the native mod, in the or not the native mod, in the native um, game. There's some mods that make tournaments quite a bit harder. Oh, fuck. He almost got me with that uh, second strike there. Oh my god! Okay, I messed up real bad. Two hits with the with the great sword is all it takes apparently. Uh, I think I'm gonna give it another go though. Um, yeah. Let's go in. I got a staff this time. Not great. I kinda want the sword and shield uh, cause that's what I'm gonna be actually using. Alright. So what I'm going to do is go over here and pick up this guy's sword and shield real quick. Cool. This is also what I'm most proficient in anyway, right off the bat. It's the better thing for me. Oh my god, I say that and I immediately get hit and lose half my goddamn health. I'm going to get a few extra sheep. It's not what I wanted. Oh my god, I didn't even know shield bashing was a thing in this mod. Uh, okay. Well, now that I know that, I think 
third time's the charm. I wipe the entire place out by myself. Here we go. Okay, those two probably are amateurs. You know, stroke of luck on that one. We're going to go in and see what we can do against all these guys. Uh, this guy. Easy. What, is this your first day here or something? Like, come on. Give me a challenge. Okay, I... I like the idea of Shield Bash, I just don't know if I like the, the way it's implemented in like most mods. This guy just popped up right behind me! Are you telling me a knife does that much damage? Oh. So what I'm seeing is we're not great at combat right now, which is to be expected early on. You know, I guess. But I think the next thing we should be doing is kind of like going around doing some quests, trying to level up. And I think a good place to start is at a village, right? They're going to have some of those lower level quests. Aren't too difficult. So we're going to go to Hawaha. And not only are we going to recruit some people, because I actually need some more people, we're going to go and find this village elder and see what kind of stuff he's selling. See if I'm interested in any of his opportunities. This guy looks old. Damn, I'm good. Sir, I need a quest. Alright, so we're going on to the next village. Uh, this one's being raided. Not anymore. Dang, dude. Dang. Yikes. Alright. I mean, they were just being raided. They gotta be on falling on hard times here. Of course, the only guy awake right now. You got any quests? You need some cattle. Ooh. How many animals do you need? Five heads? Okay. But what I'm going to do is go here, uh, meet the village elder, right? I want to buy some cattle, and I want to buy five heads. That's 960 gold. Yikes. That's a lot of gold, actually. But the thing is, right, like, I don't want to... I could have just gone over to, like, let's say, Amashki over here, and, like, looted the cattle but since I'm planning on being a big time merchant I can't be going and like ruining my relations with all these neighboring kingdoms it's just not cool so I had to do it the honest way and in doing so it kind of made myself broke but luckily my costs right now are pretty low so I think I'll be good so I'm gonna go ahead and bring Where's my cattle? Oh. Go ahead and bring my cattle over to an Asadi. Wow. Let me go to the village elder. And he's like, dude, thanks. We really needed those cows. And I'm going to be like, Got any more quests? And he's gonna say yes. Anyway, check this out. I can now recruit like a million people from this village. 
Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. If not, don't worry, it won't hurt my feelings. I'm just doing this for fun. But, it would be pretty cool if you did.